Today's video is sponsored by Raycon. Check the link down below for 15% off your order. Ermi Gird! Greens, finally! We are able to get our hands on the fidget toy mystery boxes known as sensory effects ASMR tape that are supposed to be oddly satisfying. I've seen so many of you tag me ever since early, I think March, about these products, whether it was on the Instagram or any date here, and even on the YouTube shorts. But just so you know, these are only recently now in stores. Almost every creator who's been opening these were sent to them by the company. So now that they're finally out, but not in Canada, I asked my amazing friend, Ace of Clay, who is the sculptor extraordinaire. So if you like sculpting, definitely check him out. Who's in the US to send them over. So instead of, you know, just having him send it over, though I asked him to package the box, I sent Salty Crafter all the way to the USA. And then Salty Crafter brought them back for me. That's why we have them pretty quick. And behind the mystery box of fidget toys, we have another one called ASMR Snap Dot Octopus. I don't know what these are, but apparently there were only three left in the shop, so they must be popular, right? I assume, somehow, perhaps. So the real MVP here is Ace of Clay for being my supplier. Thank you. And he sent me stickers, or me good. I wish I was sculpting, absolutely. Next one is Sculpt Like a Monster, because of all these monsters critique creations, and I mean monsters in a good way. And then we have the holographic sticker. I love this set. And the ice cream man, also in a holographic sticker. Absolutely love these. And he didn't have to, but he sent me an anime magnet and it's little Todoroki. But this little one is going on my fridge. Thank you, Ace of Clay. Now, according to the ASMR cassettes, there are eight to collect. And there are eight here because they're so hard to find. So we have eight of them. Will we get all eight? Let me know your bets in the comment section below. That actually happened to us twice where we got the entire set luckily. And again, I can't go to these stores because they're out of my country. So they get sent to me. And the last time we did these, we did the fidget pens, which were really interesting. I will link that video down below. So there's eight to collect. We have button, illusions, rewind, gears, maze, dial. Dial, that's weird. Gel and water motion. Okay, okay. And each one of these is $11.99 US. And we have eight of them. And ta -da, go ahead and do your math. Which means for the cassettes alone, we paid this much in US, so this much in Canadian. And then each one of these octopi was about, I think it was $10 US. So this whole set is this much in US. That's a lot of money. <laughs> but this much in, in Canadian, still a lot of money. <laughs> I'm really curious why they chose to do cassettes. Those of you who don't know what a cassette is, it's, I think, they stopped using it around the 90s, if I'm not mistaken. It's basically how we listened to music back then, in the 90s. And it was really cool because you, you put a cassette and then when the music finished, you picked it up, turned it around and put it back in and the music continued. But it was a different track of music. It's was, it was kind of neat. It's like magic now. By the way, for those of you new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, we do lots of fidget toys, unboxings, and reviews, and the occasional sprinkle of crafting. We've got all notifications while you're there. Alright, so let's, let's start. I'm just gonna put these over, over there. There. And here we go with the first one. Let's see if it actually is oddly satisfying to unpack. And we start from here. Let's let's make sure it does open, please. Oh gosh, no, don't be difficult. That's not how we're supposed to open it. So this is supposed to rip open, but apparently this way wanted to open, but I am really determined. Oh my God, why aren't you opening? Oh no. Oh, this user experience is not, I don't like this. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna open it this way. All right, I'm going in with the knife because I can't trust this no more. Are you satisfying now? Stupid thing. They say oddly satisfying, but I think they are oddly annoying. Oh! Don't disagree with me. 
All right, here we go. How do we open you? Oh, 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 we push it. Okay, oh, the maze. The one I'm least excited about. Actually, I didn't say which one I wanted. Okay, we're gonna work on that. Okay, so, okay. What? Now, since this is made in a shape of a cassette, I genuinely thought we could actually twist the middle because that was the most satisfying part of any kind of cassette is to kind of twist the middle. It was its own fidget thing back in the day. But we actually don't get that. And at the bottom, nothing. So it's just a flat plastic. And we have a maze. Now, the maze actually looks really fun and you have to play it flat. So keep that in mind, you gotta move it around flat, which is very normal for, for a maze. But I think there's just way too much glare to show you grains. Hang on, let's do this way. Okay, there. Where's the exit? I think, I guess you decide where you want it to go. Let's go, there we go, very nice. I don't know where I'm going. But yeah, the maze is actually pretty complex, which I like. But other than that, this fidget toy is not giving me much to fidget with. It's more like, um, it's a puzzle. I'm gonna give it a uh, three on 10. And here's the little magazine. Oh, now we actually get to see them. Oh, the rewind. Okay, so the rewind is the actual fidgeting of the cassette. Okay, I don't know who they're marketing this for, but definitely for my age group. Here's the dial, the illusion, the gears. Oh, water motion is rare? <gasps> and then there's the buttons and gel. Well then, let me know in the comment section below if you think we're going to be getting the water motion. Fingers crossed. Hopefully we don't get more of these. So if you hear this, that's the maze, unless you're looking for it. Mm. <laughs> now, will this next one actually open properly? We could see it starts over here. Come on, come on. I'm going to give it a little bit of a help. Oh, come on. Come on. You made lines. It should work. And it, uh, I twisted too much. <laughs> Why is this such a terrible unboxing experience? One eternity later. So I've literally loosened up where it should start. So let's go. Please work. What are they doing? What? That's not where it's supposed to go. <laughs> no wonder they sent us to creators and not me. They're like, don't send it to this one. This one is going to do it all wrong because of the promotion, paid promotion. What is that? Garbage. What are you? Don't be amazed. Oh, okay. Oh, these are gears. Okay, again, the bottom is pretty flat. I don't see anything else to do. Is this the rewind? No, these are gears. Okay, so let's see what it does. Oh. Okay. Oh wait, can I rewind from here? Can I do this? Ow, ow. Okay, it doesn't work too well from the center. But it does work from here. Nothing much to offer, really. I thought these would be amazing because they were advertised everywhere. All these creators were getting them like, oh my God, they're so good. Like, stop being fake. Be honest. <laughs> they're not. Kind of like twisting from the center, though. Can I do this? Okay. You can kind of put your finger in the middle, but it, it's not very pleasant. I do like the clicky sound, though. But will I fidget with this? Actually, this way feels good. It is obnoxious but I like it. So it is basic, but I'm gonna say a six on 10. Introducing my newest craft kit ever, Super Not Another Crap Kit, packed with 23 arts and craft supplies, well over seven and a half pounds, and you get to make your own epic creature because you get a handmade mold made by me, and then you can cast it to make a character figure on four legs like this, in which you can customize it and turn it into epic characters like these ones. And as you can see, it takes any kind of skill level to have fun. But remember, this special collaboration with Smart Art is only available in limited quantities. You'll find the link in description as well as in the pinned comment. If you want to see the full video unboxing of what's inside, I'll also link that down below. You know what's funny? I didn't even realize that my salt shaker was red this entire time. I guess it was the, the foreshadowing into the, the, the foreshadowing of my feelings about this product. I really want to get that satisfying opening. So I'm helping it here, okay? I'm helping it. There's... <laughs> 
I'm helping you. Help me help you. I can't do it for you. Please. Okay, we have a good, do we have a good grip? Looks like it's gonna tear. Hang on. Let's move past this angle. There. Okay, are we ready? Are we ready? It didn't go all the way. It just, it didn't, it didn't go all the way. Hopefully at least we get different things. Because this packaging is trash. Oh, it's a different color. What are you? Oh, <gasps> rewind. Oh, dang it. Okay, so, oh gosh. So this, basically, this is one way to play with your cassettes. Now, I don't know why I would pay $11 for this if I could go to a thrift store and probably find it for 50 cents and fidget the exact same way. Oh, that's the end. And fidget the exact same way. Is it satisfying? Absolutely. Because you get to basically roll this tape from one end to another like a so. But you don't get to actually touch the rubber on the other side. So anything to do with these else? Like the fidget pens had a lot to do. Here's an example. You could click the top, you could move the, the holder thing up and down, and then whatever else the actual fidget toy did. So whether it was clicky or d d bendy or whatever. This one doesn't offer much. What are these codes? There's codes on the actual things here. This is 137, this is 136. I don't think I've ever noticed these before. 138? I don't think these were on the other fidget toys. Were they? So yeah, you can you can flip back and forth. And by the way, it's not unpleasant. It's almost like they made the circle part in the middle. Oh, that's all? Okay. They made the circle part a lot less edgy, so it doesn't hurt your finger as much. So yeah, it is satisfying, but nothing else. Really nothing else. They could have added maybe a rubber band at the bottom so that you can still fidget with it on the bottom. I know it could risk kind of tearing, but make it of a material that would have less risk of tearing, perhaps, over here. Does it at least smell? Oh, what's that? Oh, the other side actually has these. Oh, that was easy to miss. Oh my god. Oh, now, now, now we're leveling it up. No, the other ones did not have that. Okay. That feels good and obnoxious. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to give this, it has two things to do. You can rewind and you can fidget this way. So it is pretty decent. They are pretty clunky. How would I say this? Here's my phone. So it's basically about the size of a phone. So as long as, see my, my thumb can barely reach the other side. So keep that in mind. I'll give this a seven, yeah, a seven on 10. All right, so I see the same code down here that are actually, on these things. SK. This one's 32. Are these codes for different items? This is not satisfying. This is not satisfying. Come on! Oh, it's similar color. Push it out. Oh. Illusion. What do I do with you? It smells like plastic. Why did I put my nose so close to it? What do I do with this? Do I just turn you? Is it... What? What am I doing? Normally I'm pretty happy with fidget toys. Why do I feel like these are an actual waste of money? I don't think I've been this salty since the Cheyenne, Shein fidget toys. Let me compose myself. So I checked on YouTube to see what else we can do with this and I checked the video by Tally's Tricks and it seems like even they were confused. They're like, I, I guess you can turn it around like a spinning, <laughs> you could just use a marker. They're just reusing the same thing. Whoever made these products, Sensory Toy People, do not give them a promotion. Nuh-uh. This is lazy product at its best. Probably the worst product that they have come up with thus far. If only they were smaller and you can loop them around into your hands, that would kind of be cool. If you want to hire me as a consultant, I am available. Not sure why companies have not hired me yet. <laughs> I am 4 on 10, just because of the spinning is kind of cool. Okay, this one is really weird because it is actually bulgy. I don't know if it's easy to... Here you go. So you can see on this side, it's sticking out a lot more than, let's say, this one flat, this one bulgy. So I don't know what's going on with this. Maybe the paper was put in wrong. We're doing it our way now. There you go. If it ain't gonna open for me, I'm gonna open it myself.
And where's the actual bulgy part? Over here. Okay, so let's push and see. Ah, oh. <gasps> wait, that's the water one. Is it? Yeah, it's a rare one. Does it have the code also on it? 33, if you're looking for it. What do I do now? What do I, oh, I get it. So these here are actual buttons, look. So you can turn it. It's kind of like, oh, it's air. There you go, so it's air. What if we press at the same time? So you just kind of get the glitter going. That's what it is. It is kind of hard to press, if I'm gonna be honest. And, okay, there we go. Look at it spin! All oh, my thumbs, it's like playing a really intense video game. Is it cool? Sure, because it's rare. So it has that cool factor to it. But is there anything else I can do? Here's the back part, here's the underneath part, the sides, and nothing. So it's basically just a big spinny toy. You know, like the ones that where you push the air and you have to get the loops inside the whole things. It's really old toy. I think we've done a fidget toy like that. So it's kind of cool because here, let me bring your brains closer. You get to press the button and the confetti keeps going around. You can do the other side. But other than that, I don't know. There really is something missing with this set. If they didn't want to put rubber bands, they could have put little spinning gears to kind of mimic that feeling, but they just didn't. So despite the fact that it is rare and I'm happy, I'm going to give this a seven on 10. Next, I don't memorize the codes, but I'm guessing Ace of Clay, did you look at the, co the, co the, co the codes? Ace of Clay, did you make sure I got different ones? This is, this is a different color. That's why I said the real MVP here is the Ace, the Ace of Clay. Ace of Clay. <laughs> okay, and this one is... Oh, what are you? What is that? What do, what do I do here? Wait, what? Okay, hang on. So here it is, the front, I'm guessing. Here is the back. And here's the code. What is that? Is that... Oh. Okay. So basically it is like the rewind, just different clickies to it. I'm starting to get a feeling that the real MVPs are going to be the octopi. The octopuses are going to... That's going to... You heard nothing! Because these ones are just the same thing over and over. So again, this is a twisty, but we just make this move. And it's very unpleasant, actually, to put your hand in here. If they wanted to level it up, they could have added a pen or a gear or a mechanism to kind of make this more interesting. But no, they did not. Four on ten. And I'm guessing this here is the code. Wait, is this the right way? Yes. And let's push. Oh, ooh. oh, hello. What are you called? <clears throat> button. It's called Button. So far, we've gotten the different ones. We've actually gotten all of them so far. The only one we're missing is Gel. Is that true? So the only one we're missing is Gel. This one is just called Button. So again, here it is at the bottom. Nothing to actually fidget with. Sides, nothing to fidget with. The other side, nothing to fidget with. Except for this one here. Oh. Okay, they're like, they're a spring. So you can kind of move them up and down. And this one down and up. And what do you do? Okay. Yeah. This is probably the better one. It's obnoxious. But there's a lot to do with this one. It's way better than the previous ones. The other ones really did lower my expectation. Okay, what's the code for this one again? 31, I think. Okay, this is the better of the rest. I'm gonna say this is probably, yeah, seven point, a seven and a half. Nothing more than that. So far, none of them have given me any goosebumps whatsoever. <clears throat> Next one, we're gonna go this way. This is, this is how we open now. Oh gosh, oh no, let's do this again. So is this gonna be the gel? No, that is not the gel color. Oh, gel color is blue, this one's orange. Oh no, oh, poopy. Okay, so now it's actually a good time to check. 132 and 132, okay. So if you are looking for a specific one, which I don't understand why you would, a huge waste of money. I would say that this set would probably go in the trash. But at least we have the octopus, right? 
So now that we got the cassette garbage out of the way, we can look at something that looks more interesting. I I'm ha look, listen, I'm happy that we got the entire set minus one, which is rare in itself. Thank you, Ace of Clay, at least for that. But the company really did us dirty. Look, I have, I have goosebumps from being angry. That's how I'm angry, because it's a garbage product. Do not waste your money on it. $11, it was like $11.97 or something like that. That is not cheap. That is expensive. No, pata. But at least we have the octopi to keep us occupied. <laughs> I crack myself up. And this is a series one, and apparently we can get any of these ones. <gasps> I want the salty one. So you can get, oh, the purple is rare. You can get a salty one, a mustacho. You can get a mustacho one, very cute. A little nerdy one, super adorable. One that's in love, a winky. One. A shocked one and one that looks like it's hungry. Probably seeing some delicious food. It's like, I want to eat that right now. So I'm gonna hope, we have three of them, so I'm gonna hope for the angry faced one. I'm okay with the mustachio one, but let's see what we get. And did, did we, just, we got a rare one? No. We got a rare one? No way. Wait, where's the face? There's the face. Is that the same one? <gasps> It's the universe telling me I am sorry for letting you be disappointed for the cassettes. The universe has bestowed upon us. I don't even know if they're good. <laughs> A rare octopus. Okay, how do we get you out? How do we... Okay, there we go. Oh, it's sticky. Or is it? How do we get you out? Ah, the plastic is sharp. Ow. Today is one of those this. Okay, there you go. So here's the rare octopus. I'm guessing it's rare because it has glitter on the inside. It's a very soft silicon. And it has these suction cups. Can you do anything else? Hello, I am I am octopus. How you how do you do? <laughs> I guess you can finger puppet it. Okay, don't don't finger don't don't finger the too much. Don't don't go too deep with your finger because it could get stuck. This is gonna come out of context. I mean this is gonna take be taken out of context. Say it. <laughs> Just listen. Listen. Listen, listen, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. All right. Let me tell you something! That's crazy! We got the rare one. Okay, let's see what kind of suction it does. So let's push it down. And are you satisfying? Okay. Let's hear you again. It's okay. The suctions are not that deep right here. So they don't make a huge amount of suction. What if I, what if we put a little bit of moisture on them? Okay, now that they're a little, a little moist. Look, don't tell me you don't do that, okay? Here we go. And let's pull. No, it's the same. So you don't have to waste your time licking them. It's fine. It's okay. I thought there would be a little bit more satisfaction, but no, not really. It, it do be cute though. It do be cute. So basically it is an absent-minded activity, which kind of feels nice. But I also noticed that there's only six legs on this octopus. Is it a hep heptopus? Wait, what, what is a six-sided figure called again? Yeah, hexagon. So it's a hexapus, is what it's called. It's not octo, because octo is a. This is a hexapus. That's what. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Come on, let's get the salty one. Oh no, a green one. Which one are you? <gasps> Nerdy. And here's the nerdy one, absolutely adorable. And they have the codes on them. I don't remember them having codes before. Maybe it's just me and I'm starting to notice. And how's your suction? Okay. Same thing. I'm gonna give these a good base of seven. It's kind of like poppets. There's nothing special about them, but they're not bad. So they're gonna stay within seven. And again, super cute. It is an opaque green. Hello there, I am nerdy. Nice to meet you. A equals MC squared. The hypochondria of the, the thing is the power of two. What? <laughs> Look, I studied in French. I actually don't know what the mitochondria formula thing is that Amerigrains know. I, I, I was educated in French my whole life. So we did not have to learn these things by heart, at least not my school. Nice to meet you. And this here is our last chance at getting a salty faced one. And the answer is, oh no. Oh, that is the mustacho, right? 
Mustacho! If we just put a red hat on it, it's a me, a Mario. Cute! And how does it sound? Exactly the same thing. So it's no different. It does have a nice feel to it. The silicon is very soft. Very nice and soft silicon. And yeah, you can put it in here. Woohoo! Waha! I am Mario! <laughs> Oh gosh. And here are the three hexapuses that we got. I know they're supposed to be octopi, but they're not octopuses anymore because they're missing two legs. And I have to say that these are probably one of the biggest disappointments from sensory effects. There are so many different kinds of fidget toys that I can come up with in my mind. So if they want it, now, much like many of you grains, when I want my downtime, I like to stay in my own little bubble. Whether it's listening to music while I'm doing any kind of crafts, or feeling really immersed when I'm playing a game, and yes, even salty crafter browsing on TikTok. And this is where my Raycon everyday earbuds are absolutely my saviors. Not only do they look, feel, and sound better than they ever have, with audio quality at about half the price of other premium brands out there, with optimized gel tips that are so comfortable because they create a perfect in-ear fit and noise isolating, they will not fall off. There's no dangly things, nothing in the way. I mean, look, I'm trying to get them off and they're like, no, we shall stay. And with 8 hours of playtime and 32 hours of battery life in this super tiny compact case, you can bring them with you just about anywhere. And now depending on your preference, there are different sound profiles. From pure sound, refined sound, and perfect clarity, balanced sound is the most universal balanced sound ever that they have, or their best sound. Great for songs with strong beats. So what are you waiting for? Go to buyraycon.com forward slash nerdycrafter to get 15% off your Raycon purchase. Again, that's buyraycon.com forward slash nerdycrafter for 15% off. Thank you, Raycon, for being my favorite earbuds ever and for being huge supporters of this channel. If you want to watch a better unboxing of fidget toys, make sure you check up here. And if you're in the mood for more bad fidget toys, make sure you check down here. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.